Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Legendary Porpoise channel and for the world of El Morin. Now today we're building this really cool witch's tower that you saw in the thumbnail and it's going to be really nifty. Now we're not going to build it here, we're actually going to build it in a super flat world so you can really see it because there's way too many trees around for me to be able to make an actual video. So without further ado, let's jump straight on into the intro, onto the video and get going. Alright, so this time lapse is going to begin with building the base structure of this witch tower. Now, I wanted to stick with the fantasy theme of having a stone base eventually leading up to wood because it's such a traditional look, and I think it really comes together nicely here. And yes, I know a lot of people may be asking, Legendary, isn't Elmoran supposed to be somewhat realistic? Well, to answer that question, it is fairly realistic, but I've really been wanting to add some fantastical elements into it for some time. So minor locations like this or the other witch's cabin on the island with like the evil cave um, are just kind of fun little Easter eggs for people to go out and explore and, and, and read up on and stuff like that. So that's kind of why I'm putting them in here. Now, pretty much think of El Morin as like a toned down version of Skyrim, but also completely like Skyrim, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, but hey, I'm, you know, I'm rolling with it. Um, that's pretty much why this video was like really extremely fun to make and work on because it's essentially a passion project for me, like uh, not just El Morin, but also this particular build. I wanted to try my hand at something new and build something that I hadn't before, so I hope you don't mind the absolute randomness of this video. Now, this build does have the stone base, and I had it lead up into a wooden platform that surrounds the tower. Now, above that stone base, I used wood blocks for the living quarters, which added a pretty good contrast to the stone while keeping it in a that actual like wooded fantasy theme. Now, thankfully, this build only took about an hour to create, so those creative like mindset and, and and just ideas are still going i already have some ideas about what the next few videos are going to be so i'm definitely pumped about that now it's just actually building them and getting it done now it is about time to listen to some music so i'm gonna stop rambling i'll let you get back to the video let me slap on that music you enjoy it and i'll meet you back again for the time lapse All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Hope you enjoyed this video so far, but here we are for the actual walkthrough, and I'm so excited to show you this really cool little witch's tower. As you can see here, I've actually got it kind of neatly tucked away in the El Morin map. I know I built it on the flatland. It's just because I really wanted you to see it. There were way too many trees here, but, you know, obviously here we have Morin Stell. We have the Nullivan tribe from um, the last episode, so this is just kind of tucked away right here along the mountainside. And it just really looks really cool. You're not going to be able to see it from the main road. That was the whole point intended. It's kind of a hidden little thing. So right off the bat, you walk up to it. The scale is really cool. Even though it's not a huge build, it's, it definitely stands out. And to me, it just looks awesome. So what I want to do is I want to show you the outside first. And then I'll show you the inside. Now, walk into the outside to the right of the front door. We have the potatoes. Now, of course, potatoes are great because you can not only use them to eat, but you can also use them for brewing purposes as well. Think of any spells or remedies or things like that. In this world, potatoes are magical, okay? <laughs> Going to the left of the front door, we also have this. Um, and you can also see there's some additional decorating. These are more potatoes because potatoes are awesome. Uh, but yeah, so we have all of that. Pretty simple, straightforward. Now, another thing we also have is going to be the cellar, and the cellar looks really cool in my opinion. I have these scattered all across the world. This We have some food, uh, some salt and things like that because you would want it away from where animals can get to it or where their salt could get too damp 
or what, what, whatever. So it all kind of works together. Now there are two doors to get in, but I want to take you through the front door. And as you can see, we have some like shutters and, and some moss and stuff like that. So I did add a lot of decoration, but we'll see that in just a second. So pretty much as soon as you walk in, we have uh, just, you know, some hanging herbs. We have a small seating area, some candles. We You walk in here and we have the actual spiral staircase. Now, I use this design all across El Morn because it's very compact. It works with a 3x1x3 three by by three tower, but you don't really have a lot of room, as you could tell, to really, you know, do much of anything else. So you have to be very smart in how you lay this out. Um I think I did okay. <laughs> Who knows? But, uh, we, you know, obviously you can see some food. You can see some additional decorations here. You know, the broom, a small bookcase, stuff like that. This is the other door to get out, so we're not going to worry about that too, too much. But, yeah, so this is essentially the bottom floor. I mean, it's straightforward. This is simple, okay? Now, let's go on up the staircase. And as you can see here, we have our second floor, which really can't be considered a second floor because it's more just like additional storage space uh almost like just like a small little like little trash area i guess but even though it's not trash it's stuff that uh the witch would need but either way we do have that so obviously as i'm sure you could tell by some of my most recent videos um magic and witchcraft and stuff like that is going to play a role in el morin uh, I'm working on how much of a role, but I'm thinking it's going to be a good bit so i'm pretty excited about that going up the stairway again we're going to have the third floor, okay? And you can tell I had a little bit more room to work with here. Um, you know, it's not a lot. And look at that lighting glitch. It's it's lava-y. Um, but I decided to do green stained glass because why not, you know? It makes sense. Um, and it, like I said, it just kind of ties in this whole thing right here. And as you can tell, you can go outside. You can have a sit down, enjoy the view, even though my render distance is minimal right now and then you can actually walk all the way around as well just if you wanted to you know stand and and i guess look at some rocks or something <laughs> i don't know uh but last but not least we're gonna go up and this is gonna be where the actual witch sleeps so once again we have another bookcase we have the bed we have a small dresser uh we have like this guy um yeah, and of course some clothing, some keys to lock the doors, a little brewing stand. Uh, this would be like, you know, magical properties, stuff like that. But a very small, confined space, but I think it looks really, really good. And I'm really happy with the way that it came out. So we're going to go down here. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll take you out here and I'll give you the little flyover. So after the time lapse, I added, um, you know, like this tree wasn't here initially. I added that in. But... You could tell I added some detailing on the thatch. Um, the actual stone base I changed around. This is going to be slate light mortal mortar and gray whack mortar. So they have a similar texture, just different coloring. That's why I wanted to add it in a little bit of wear and tear, make it look really, really good. And then on the top, like hat roof part, um, I put like moss on there too. And the little light hanging down right there, I just thought was a really nifty touch. But yeah, I mean, if you look at this from a normal angle, like it's almost intimidating, but it has a very like fantasy, uh, really cool theme to it. So I'm really happy with the way this came out. Um, once again, you can tell it's it's pretty cool, uh, honestly. And like like I said, if if you're going all the way out here kind of where the main road's gonna be is let's just say right here like you you can't you can't like on the ground you can't even see it which is i thought was a really cool touch like you, you literally cannot see it at all you'd have to get an aerial view so yeah uh just to kind of look a little tucked away almost like an easter egg you know, uh, honestly, I think people would enjoy this map without using journey map because it would be just really fun to explore everything firsthand. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, thanks for having patience with me. I know my uploads have been a little delayed, um, but either way, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you like the video and you like my content, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, comment below. Um, any interaction is good interaction. So once again, all of you have um, a great time. Thanks for tuning in. This is the legendary part signing off. Have a good day. Happy gaming. And I'll catch you next time.